to every one of you out there. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Yeah, we are having a very wonderful day here at the studio. The studio is very warm because we have <laughs> stars that are very hot. What I mean, hot, I mean stars that are making it happen in the Nollywood industry right mm. here. I mean, with us. A lot of them. You've just seen one with me right here. But if you go around the studio behind the scene, you will see a lot of them that came alongside with him right here with us at the black giant studio for the black giant tv show we are having uh one of the nollywood actors you cannot claim not to know one of the nollywood actors that has contributed immensely to the industry you cannot talk about actors in abuja without mentioning the name of this man here with us in the studio we have a nollywood actor our own nollywood jagaban <laughs> pony Good man, like he's always called. <laughs> Welcome to the studio, sir. Chai. <laughs> All this English now for me. <laughs> you know, if, 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 if I don't do this, your fans will think, I, I, I mean, I was too quick with the introduction, uh, okay. so I need to be fair. <laughs> uh, not here, but okay. <laughs> so let's meet you, uh, Mr. Tony Goodman. Welcome well, to the studio. Um, let me be this. <laughs> I remain your humble servant. My name is Tony Ezimadu. Mm. And for those of you who want to like check it out, many of you think I am Igbo. But I am from Delta States. And in Delta we have different parts. But where I came from is Kwale. 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 Okay. And Kwale. so where the Ibo ma will say Ezim Madu. Mm. The Kwali ma will say Ezim Madu. Oh, wow. You see the, you see the similarity yeah. and the difference. Just slight. So, uh, uh, I, I would want to know why you went into acting. There are so many careers that would have um, maybe, I mean, do better looking at how you look. Yeah. If, if I am meeting you at the first time, I would mm. think you are a politician. You know, one of these aspiring governors. <laughs> you know, but, but, but you're an actor. Mm -hmm. So out of all this career, why acting? Hmm. You see, um, as I was growing up, yeah. I had my first romance with NTA. Mm. And it was a musical encounter the college um youth forum that was my first contact we go to nta we dance there is a is a is a kind of um um live broadcast show sponsored by dan linka mm. uh -huh. you know we go there because we love music we dance but from there I will always be glued to the television yeah. and some few names and personality began to inspire me. Names like Taiwo Obileye, mm. names like Ruth Benemaise, mm. names like Patrick, names like Jacob Akiemi Johnson, J-A-J, oh, wow. mm. names like BC or Latin law. Or Latin law. And these names were were building and were building up in my head and I say, Hell no, I like to be a broadcaster. <laughs> so I, I went in and I and I, I did Mascom. Oh wow. When living in bondage hits Nigerian um, visual system. Yeah of visual world or the visual world that was the first major break in nigerian movies true the well i, I would say the beginning of nollywood, of nollywood. Of course. then i found out that people like zeb ejiro frank vaughn these are the area guys that we were all growing together and every i was a mina then and with Siri Stoba, yeah, and I was there with them. So when I got back to Lagos after June 12th crisis, 
Then I remember that um, one time I did not act in front of camera with NTA 1977. But I also had a shot with one powerful producer and director in this country, Eddie Obama. Mm. That name is like sounding like of the Olaba logos. Eddie Obama was one of the foremost movie producers and director this country has ever produced. Wow. He's late now. Oh. Yeah, may so rest in peace. Amen. That was the first encounter I had with celluloid. Hmm. I shot a movie. Can you still remember the name, the title of the movie? Bolus 80. Wow. Bolus 80. <laughs> and then wow. he did another one. Um, the Mask. Mm. That is a story of this stolen mask from the Benin Empire and, and then Long Journey. Long Journey it <laughs> is. Okay, but if it had not been acting for you, mm. what else would it have been? Ah, you see, it, what gives a man joy? It is not all about the monthly salary. Of course, it is not. Or where you wake up very early and then close late in the night. Mm. But where you put in much or little and you feel that self-satisfaction. Satisfaction, that's true. If not for movie, it will have been music because I love music. Meaning you can sing? I can sing, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let's, I have let's... a small passion. You're not small, you're a big one. I want to <laughs> learn how to play the keyboard. Oh, wow. You know, you know, when you sit with the keyboard and you just worship with mm. instruments and then you just connect with your creator. Yeah, I used to know you I for, des for, for I worship. Desire, I desire that. Do you have a role model in mm. the Hollywood industry? <laughs> Before we talk about Hollywood. I love Peter Doche. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love Olu Jacobs. Oh, wow. I love Taiwo Obile. Those are great veterans. I love them when they take their lines, when they deliver. Mm. Ah, God. <laughs> it is well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That's my role models, man. Oh, that's I love beautiful. Them. We pray for <laughs> long life and um, good yeah. health for all our veteran actors. Honestly, they, honestly. They really did well in the same. Honestly. All right. That brings me to my next question. Okay. I have been in different locations. In fact, my very first movie, you were one of the prominent actors in it. I'm talking about Silent Conscience that has been on my TV for uh, a long time. So I, I don't know, why do they refer to you as daddy? Even the actors that I know you cannot give birth to, they call you daddy on set. So <laughs> is it because you have played the role of father to them, I mean, with them in different locations, or is it just something else? No, no, it's far from, far from that. When people meet me first, the first thing I want to do is to guide them let them know that the industry you are looking at on television you're seeing all the glamour that is not what it is oh. that is not what it is that is not what it is there is a behind the scene there is a behind the scene <laughs> there is time where you will have to even clean your face like this because you'll be sweating that's true there are times where you look for water to drink you will not see water to drink true there are times you look for food, you will not see food. There are times you will even walk. You will she, not see she. Money. Will pay you. <laughs> Wow, I like this part. Let's go straight to these. We just become, I mean, um, it has become, a, 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 let me say a challenge. Uh, okay. It has become a challenge where people watch movies and then see what their role models put on, not minding what they are dressed or what the, what role they are playing. Because sometimes, let's say Inedu is playing the role of a prostitute, she's expected to dress as such, and then people watching are now picking that style to be their daily 
I mean, their daily way of dressing mm. and then out there. So, what, what do you have to say about that? Is it supposed to be like that? Yeah, lie, 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 lie. No, you're not supposed to be like that. Too. I lie. The truth is, we must define these things. Mm. Each time we watch a musical concert, we see drummers, we see instrumentalists, we see musicians come out with the microphone. They run from one end of the stage to the other. People are screaming, people are shouting. Whatever they are wearing is called costume. It's called costume. <laughs> it's, called like cos that. it's called costume. <laughs> It is for stage, mm. in front of camera, mm. to bring out the beauty of that show, mm. to bring out the beauty of that play, to bring out the beauty of that storyline. So if you are not performing, you so shouldn't So if you are not performing, you should not look like that. Mm. You shouldn't. Why will you dress half naked? Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much for for I mean making that as clear as it should be. Now that br brings me to my next question: Sex for roll. Hmm. The, the industry is, is messed up with. Um, I am part of the industry. I am an actor. I'm a filmmaker, uh, but I cannot deny the fact that sex for roll is real in the industry, and. Um, it looks like something has been done. The new crop of directors and actors that are coming up are beginning to understand better. But, but, but it is still in existence. What do you have to say about that? Sex for role. You don't speak the English sex for role. It's sexual harassment. <laughs> okay, that's the right uh, answer. It's sexual harassment <laughs> in the industry. Um, bad as it is, it's there. It's real. It's a reality talk. But I must be quick to say that um, the Nollywood, as a frame, we are like the front burner of a car mm. that you must see on the high speed. That is the first thing. They, it is the bonnet of the car you that see you first. See for Morally, it is wrong for you to give somebody something with condition. If that person merits, merits that role, let the person have it. That is why we have what is called audition. Audition, that's right. You know, during the audition, everybody, there is nothing like star or no star. If you're a star, you are not above audition. For you out there as a producer and as a director, Work with people that merit a role. If they are not, if they if don't they merit are not role. qualified for that role, don't. No need for this. It is not a do or die affair. That's right. Everybody must not feature in your movie. Mm. No, everybody must not feature in your movie. I remember Teko Benz in those days. If Teko Benz announces an audition, of course I want to go and try my hands. Of course. I will go like there, like everybody, write my name on the sheet of paper. When Teko Benson comes, he scans through the crowd. Mm. He will just call you, have you come? A uh, bros, no vexer. You are not in this story. At all. Your personality is not here. Hey, that young lady, come. Your personality, your physique is not in this story. Please go home. He knows the story already. So he knows the story. Yeah. Teko Benson, a wow. man I respect. Bros. If you're watching this, I doff my heart for you. Wow, wow. Mm. Thank you so much for, I mean, making your own voice mm. known on uh, such issue as this. It is a very serious issue. It is. And most parents are finding it difficult to allow their children go into the career yeah. called acting. Um, mm. Would you say the Nollywood industry is making progress? In fact, the entertainment industry. The entertainment industry, yes, it's making progress. Okay. A few years back, when I granted an interview, I said, check us out today. In the next five years, Nollywood will not be where it is. Mm. And today is like a prophetic statement. Mm. Today, the industry has really shifted. It has taken off from where it used to be. In fact, let me use the common language 
the youths of today, they are blood their hearts. Mm. Their brain is smoking. True. They are going all out to learn. That's right. Look at a f uh, this movie now, like um, The Blood Sister. The, yeah, blood, the sisters. blood Sister. For Nigerian film, today for number one chat for Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a joke at all. viewers welcome back to the black giant show we are still here with our guest the nollywood veteran actor tony goodman give your fans out there five movies they should go and watch mm. maybe your recent movies or, okay. or something close to that um okay five movies kai ah film Upo. <laughs> <laughs> Upo. <laughs> film Upo, Upo. <laughs> too many films though. jesus what's on i want to remember now wow uh, oh God! I try, try, <laughs> Materials or work that I've featured that I love so much mm. that I, each time I look at them and I say, oh, "Yeah, mm. this is a good one." I, I I delivered very very well. Royal Tears, okay, by Pius Okubere. That is in Black Gold in Lagos. Royal Tears actually was a series and. Is sold like pure water. Then I played as Chief a Siri. Um, the other one again I love is um, Girl Scott. Oh, you were Girl Scott? Yes, Girl Scott with Genevieve, part one, and then part two. Another one I love again is um, State of Emergency by Teko Benson. Were you in state of emergency? <laughs> Go and check at me. You see, fine boy there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, state wow. of emergency, and then um, of late, of recent, recent yeah. um, marriage contracts, okay. and then the hair. I just finished that one. The hair now with um, Marian Apollo, Chuk I was the Kabiesi, mm. and then. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's no, you, that's you've that, done yeah. jobs, you've done jobs, and <laughs> even in fact, the ones I know about, especially within uh -huh. Abuja, are then, so much. Ah, so wait, the ones to, I don't no, wait, 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 before if I before I leave here now, police will arrest me. <laughs> Listen, go and watch Silent Conscience. Silent Conscience, how yeah. can we be inside inside the uh, Black Gold, Black Giant, uh, Black, Black Giant Studio? And then and you're not talking about Silent ah, Conscience. <laughs> ah, offense, of course, you were my father in Silent Conscience. You did, you did quite well. So, <laughs> Silent Conscious, go and watch that movie. You will love it. Wow, it's wow. a masterpiece. Wow, Even you. when there was no money, yes. we managed and a fantastic in fact, in fact, in fact. Yes. In fact. So, sir, <laughs> what is your advice to upcoming artists? Those that are venturing already and those that would want to venture into the Nollywood industry? Um, my only advice is this. Um, as an upcoming actor, dedication. focus, determination, mm. and work harder. Work hard. The sky will be your limit. Mm. There is no shortcut to anything. That's as right. long as it has to do with success, there is a working out. If you, you are know? looking out for a male actor <laughs> that will play the fatherly role, <laughs> not just the fatherly role. Sometimes you mm. used to be very governor, wicked. Governor, president, chief. Chief King. Cine Toki. I Tony did. Goodman is here. <laughs> I did, I did wait for you. Just call me. All right. Thank mm. you so much. It's been a nice time with you. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you for so being part much. of the Black Giant thank Show you, Season 4. You. We really thank appreciate you. you. Whenever we call, you always come around. Yes. Thank you. And for the viewers out there, don't touch the dial. Don't touch it. Don't turn away. Don't touch it. Stay tuned and keep watching. Black, Black Giant, Giant TV. TV. Wow, that's an endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Sir. I really yeah. do appreciate it. All right, thank you so much. It's been a wonderful time at the Black Giant Studio. 
Thank you for being with us. Thank you for viewing the Black Giant Show Season 4. We have, I mean, had a very great time with our Nollywood veteran actor. Don't forget to subscribe to all our social media platform, Black Giant TV. And also follow us, please. Follow us now on social media platform, Black Giant TV on Instagram, Black Giant TV on Facebook, even on YouTube, Black Giant TV. My name remains Okwe Lawrence Okwe. How was your wonderful host? Was I not wonderful? All right, thank you so much for being with us. Thank <music> you.